Well, happy Fry Fry Friday, fishy folks. Hope everyone has good fishy plans for the weekend. Me, myself, and I are going to be going to the Bucks County Aquarium Society auction. It's my favorite auction. I talk about it all the time. I've only been once, but I've been to, I don't know, seven or eight auctions now. And it's, it's definitely my favorite. Um, last year was definitely a seller's auction. I made quite a bit of money. I was very happy. Wasn't really planning on it. Wasn't really prepared. So this year I'm prepared. 54 lots, 54 bags of fish, um, mostly guppies, but I did, uh, I did secure some quarries that I'm going to be selling and some plecos, um, obviously, uh, some mollies in the fish I have. I'm going to be selling my trio of Epistogramma cockatoides orange flash. Um, and the reason is I really want a new camera and it's really expensive and I decided I'm only going to use what I make from auctions or selling fish to buy my new camera, which I will use to make videos for you guys. Um, I think I want a Canon SL2, um, which they say is an entry level DLS DLSR, but it's got a lot of cool stuff and uh, it's a little expensive. So that's what I want to do. So let's talk about auctions. You heard me talk about auctions before. If you're not going to local fish club auctions, you're missing out. Even if you just go for a couple hours to see what things cost or see, you know, what's out there, what other people are breeding. But really, going to local fish clubs, that's how you meet other people in the hobby where you can get good stuff. Oh, you grow guppy grass? Great, I need some guppy grass. I have a ton of Anubis. Let's trade. Something like that. Oh, you have black moscow guppies i have red albino guppies let's trade you know you do things like that all the time um as a matter of fact i'm trading super british steve some fish i need something he breeds i was gonna i was willing to buy them from him he said no bring me guppies okay that's what i'm gonna do so let's talk about what i'm bringing to the auction uh like i said some plecos l160 self and pleco bringing two of those uh, albino quarries, quarry mete, mete, you know how to say it, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, some goldfish I decided to bring, obviously lots of guppies, um, yellow cobras, red cobras, green cobras, lime green cobras, angelfish, um, some sore tails. Nothing else really spectacular. Oh, the L129 Fall Zebra Plecos. Remember I got those at the NEC? I think I got six of them. And uh, within a couple days, three or four died. And then I found another dead one. I only had two left. I'm going to sell those because I'm looking to, to make some money. Um, I'm selling one L144 Blue Eyed Lemon High Fin Pleco. A Blue Phantom. Some more quarries. Uh, I picked up an L106 orange seam pleco. Nice size, too. It's about this big. Gonna sell that. Oh, a snowball pleco. I did get some guppy grass. Um, and some, I'm gonna sell some rickia as well. I did order some uh, java moss. Hoping that it was gonna be here in time, but I really wasn't prepared. And uh, the seller I got it from, super nice guy. Gave me a great deal. Um, but, uh he had to order it in so i didn't think i was gonna get it in time all right fishy folks it is 6 45 a.m and i'm ready to go i'm about half hour ahead of schedule which is quite surprising let me show you how packed the car is we ended up with 54 lots for this auction yesterday was auction prep day just an empty styrofoam box for items that i buy at the auction i can put them in there during the day you know keep them in the dark try to keep them warm if the room is cold it's about 70 degrees right now We're supposed to get some rain so if they have the air conditioner on because there's probably going to be four or five hundred people in that room it might get kind of cold so then we have this box with about a hundred bags in it no i don't know how many bags are in it but that box selling a tank 15 gallon tank to sam and then uh back here a 
back here we have the styrofoam container, the cooler that I usually use that is usually the only thing I bring and that's filled and then two more buckets filled with with fish. So let me show you. Oh, this is for Steve. <laughs> I picked a one bag without a label. Here's how I label my bags. I use one of my cards with all my social media and email and website. And then uh, you can see where it says MFR 25. That's the lot number. That's how this auction does it. Other auctions provide you with a label. Um, and then, of course, I label it Trio Red Tux Guppy. And that's what's in the bag, which you can harness. They actually don't look pretty bad for being in the bag for uh, 12 hours-ish or so. So, all right, fishy folks. I'm going to go uh, get some coffee and uh, some snacks and be on my way. I'll be back. All right, fishy folks. I have arrived at the Churchville Nature Center, which is where the Bucks County Aquarium Society auction is held. It's very beautiful here. Obviously, it's a nature center. They have, uh, I guess, a plant sale. They had it last year to the same time. I don't know if they do it all the time, but so let's go inside. Typical, not really your typical auction setup. Very well prepared. They've got some free samples I will be partaking. And that's where you check in. There's the president and a young man drinking coffee. Coffee is important. Coffee is important. So lots of tanks here. This very cool, bo cool bullfront tank that looks like it was drilled at one point and somebody patched it. And then uh, we'll start over here. They have uh, tissue culture plants for sale. They were donated. They were gonna raffle them off and they decided just to sell them instead more raffle items lots of stuff more tanks down the hall one of my favorite parts about the auction is there's food last year there was really good food i'm assuming it'll be good this year not dunkin donuts these are more dry good donations i think maybe i'll get this for my arowana tank the 20 gallon long <clears throat> lots of donations lots of dry goods there's an old python set up with some hose that needs to be cleaned. I'll be looking for filters and heaters. Very interesting stuff. It's the first time I'm looking at this stuff. So I'm looking for box filters or sponge filters. Um, somebody's supposed to bring me 20 sponge filters. We'll see if he remembers. He tends to forget. Here's a little catfish pillow, pretty cool. Lots of food. I probably won't be going after any food. I have quite a bit at home. Although sometimes late in the day, some of these bags go for like a dollar and I might be going for it. Oh, there's a bag for Bob. Bob Steenfont, there's a bag for you. Lots of dry goods, books. Let's see. Cobalt 300 watt heater. I'm gonna have to check and see what this goes for online and then see if it's a good deal here. Oh, there's a little Neotherm heater. Those are pretty good heaters, I think. All right, lots of tanks. I gotta show you these tanks though. Anyone ever see a 10 gallon long? They look like they're 30 years old, but they're brand new. Yeah, 10 gallon long. All right, so there's there's some of my fish, goldfish. You can see everything is labeled. These tables will be overflowing in about an hour when other people get here. <clears throat> New world cichlids, old world cichlids. I guess they think they're gonna get more old world than new world. I don't know. Catfish. So you can see my stuff. That's my section right there of live bearers and plants. Lots of little tanks, beta tanks, big tanks, a pond, all kinds of stuff, guys. All right, I'll be back. All right, fishy folks, it's about 10.30, about half hour before the auction is supposed to start. You can see quite a few people have come. Many bags of locks on the tables, lots of plants, lots of good stuff. There's Dollar Dave. There's Lisa from Super Sickly. It's quite a few people that we see at all the auctions, which is great. I love seeing old friends. 
and talking about fish. There's Susie who breeds some bettas. And yeah, so lots of people, lots of new stuff. Oh, first I gotta show you the food. Remember I told you the food? We got Sam Sweet Shop. We got hot dogs, chili dogs, a taco, and chili. Vegetarian and non-vegetarian. I don't know what the point of vegetarian is, but whatever. Let's see, what else? What else? What else? Let's look at some of the new lots. Just trying to navigate through all the people. So look at these plants. Three ginormous sword tails, minimum bid 15 bucks. I'm sure that'll go for quite a bit. Lots of plants. I even brought some plants. Lots and lots of plants. JJ Aquatics is here. J and J Aquatics. Uh, they're out of Delaware. Great people. I met them at the auctions and we keep in touch. We talk. They have a website, uh, jjaquatics.com. They sell some fish and plants and snails and they have their own brand of food that they make in their kitchen. Uh, I hope to try it and uh, do a review on it soon. You can see all the live bearers. It was Michael's Fish Room's table, but a lot of people showed up. So there are the bettas from Susie. Lots of quarries and plecos. Lots of New World cichlids. A few Africans. Lots of stuff, guys. You guys gotta come to these auctions. You gotta be in it to win it. That's a pretty neat stand. A 20 high or a 15 high. And I guess a 10 goes on top. That's pretty cool. Lots of cool stuff here. There's some goldfish. 45 day old goldfish. Aranda and Ryukin. There's mom and dad. That's a lot of goldfish. I might even pick some of those up for the goldfish tank. All right, folks. I'll be back soon. Yeah. All right, fishy folks, we got started. I don't really even know what's being auctioned off. No, I'm not going to record the whole thing. That's Susie, the better queen. And Jay better have her. Yes, that's the one who I'm always pushing. Yeah, I like her stuff. Plus, they're from New Jersey, and New Jersey rocks. Yeah. Black quarries. They went for a lot of money at North Jersey. Let's see what they go for here. There's three in the bag. Already at 30. Wow. $53. A bag full of stuff. Eight dollars for a bag of stuff. Are they blue eyes? Mark. Mark. Do they have blue eyes? Blue eyes? They're not albino and lemon. They're either lemon or albino. Twice, 13, 14, 13, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14,
Wow, nice wood. I'm cracking her up. Look. <laughs> you know you're we thinking. Funnier. It. We were funnier before, but he wasn't recording. No. So now, there's no more jokes. <laughs> We have hours to go. There will be plenty of jokes. <laughs> Look at the upside down cabbage, upside down in the bag. Yes. She was like, hey guys, we should all take this. False Zebra Pleco, L129, people. Let's open your wallets. False Zebra Playgoes. False Zebra. False Zebra Playgoes. Who wants to come to $3? Free. I'm thinking $20. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $15. $
It does not hold water. You put water in the air, you have a problem. This is the latest and fastest. This is the Millennium Glass Factory. Three dollars. Three dollars. Where do you get next time? It's three dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars for the tank from the box. Why? Four hours on number five. Four I got on number five. Four I got on number five. Four I got on number one. Four I got on number two. Five o'clock. CBS 13. One L three thirty three King Tiger Flecko. Another King Tiger. I want a King Tiger Flecko. How much did I pay? Eighteen. King Tiger Flecko. Let's see what this one goes for. We start here for ten bucks. I got a deal. Thirty in the back. I got thirty going once. Thirty going twice. Thirty two, she said. Thirty two, she said. Thirty four going once. 36, 38, 38 over 40, 38 40, we we'll got 42, 42 in the back, 42 over 40. Wow, I got a good deal. 42 over 40, 46, 48. I'm happy with mine for 18. Yay. I'm here with Lisa from Super Cichlids and Alan behind us. Hi, Alan. <laughs> How's your auction going? Did you buy anything? Was it beautiful? Yes, and they were purple and yellow. Ooh, what did you get? I got some purple and yellow guppies from um, Mr. Mike. <laughs> and they already bred in the bag. They dropped fry in the bag? Yeah, as soon as I touched the bag. Boom, chicka, boom, boom. And you have BAP points. Yes. I'm also here with the king and queen of cichlids. How you guys doing? Yes. How's your auction going? It is going fantastic. Right? Did you buy anything? Um, Miss Allen's puppies, but I got some shrimp. Shrimp, fried shrimp, caramel shrimp, <laughs> onion shrimp, red shrimp. They'll be fried and fried later. Yeah. Fantastic time. Garlic and butter, that's all I ask. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I have met Karen. I have met Karen. I interviewed Karen at the last auction. Hi, Karen. How's your auction going? Did you buy anything? Did, did you want to explain what you bought like everyone else? Or? Huh? She got long film plecos. They were really cool. And I didn't bid on them because she was bidding on them. She's hysterical. What? <laughs> Everyone say bye. Bye bye. All right, fishy folks, it's about 6 o'clock and there's still quite a bit left. It is a long day. Lots of dry goods, lots of plants left, lots of fish left. Not quite the seller's option I was hoping for, but I didn't do terrible. There's Lisa from Super Cichlid still. Say hi, Lisa. <laughs> We need more runners, too, please. All right, guys. We need more runners. I'm tired. I'm not running anymore. All right, fishy folks. I'll be back. All right, fishy folks. It's after 7. It's been a very long day. We still have some things left. Mark is going strong. Big Pleco in the bucket. And he's curled around in that bucket. He's too big to fit. He's very broad. Two dollars. You should get him for your two twenty. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what you're talking about, Jealous. Very cool. That's like a classic. All right, fishy folks, it is now 8.30, and I just got in my car. 
spend a little bit more money than I wanted to. I'll show you what I got uh, probably in another video because when I get home, probably around 10, I'm not really going to be interested in filming. So I had a great time. I uh, hung out with Lisa from Super Cichlids and um, Karen and Alan and I met a bunch of fun people and the people from the club, Tom and Kaylee and Mark and everybody else whom I'm forgetting did a great job and uh, yeah, it's just a good time. It was a long day and I'm hoping to work with them maybe to speed the day up or shorten the day somehow, but um, I had a great time. It was definitely worth it hanging with fishy folks and uh, you know, just shooting fishy breeze. So, all right guys, uh, I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed this uh, vlog of sorts. And, uh, you know, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the website, michaelsfishroom.com. See ya. Oh, you grow guppy grass? I can't grow guppy grass. Grow? I can't grow guppy grass.